Hello and welcome back or if this is the first time here my name is Siobhan and this hair has to go. Um, I've enjoyed being a blonde a little bit this time. I decided I'm gonna do split dye and I'll do half sort of pastel. Half is assuming it comes out how I'm hoping going to be pastel and half is going to be bright. The bright half is definitely going to be bright. I'm using all Arctic Fox color. If you're not familiar with Arctic Fox, they are my fave. For the pastel side, I'm going to do Periwinkle and then I'm going to do Purple Rain, but I'm going to dilute it. I do not have any Arctic Mist, which is the Arctic Fox. It's basically the conditioning base that they use for their colors and it's what you use to make the colors more pastel. I do have some of this Briogeo Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask left. And I don't know that the camera is going to pick that up very well. But I am going to start with this and mix in my Purple Rain. And part of why I did this, I thought this was actually empty and I was going to mix it in here with just with a different conditioner, but I opened it and there was still like, it, once it settled, there was still quite a bit left in there. So. I'm gonna start out with like 50-50. The colorful bowls and the brushes that I'm using are also Arctic Fox. I just picked them up at Ulta when I was there because I needed more bowls and brushes. As you can see, it's still very dark purple, not pastel at all. So for the sake of consistency, like getting the same color every time, I would recommend using only one conditioner. I have this Olaplex number no. five bond maintenance con conditioner. This is what I use as my normal conditioner. I just happen to have my backup bottle like right next to me. So I'm gonna add some of that. This is a really, really thick conditioner. So normally I use something a little bit thinner, but normally I also am using conditioners that are just like, like if I get sample conditioners or something that I'm not gonna use as a normal conditioner, I will use them to dilute my hair colors. It's still very dark. All right, this is making way more like than I'm gonna need. So I'm actually gonna just take some of what I've already mixed and put it in a bowl. I'm realizing now that what I should have done was started out with conditioner and then just added a little bit of color to the conditioner. All right, so after lots and lots of conditioner, this is the shade that I have. I'm gonna do that on this side with Periwinkle. Plan is to just alternate colors on this side. So I have my Periwinkle, I have my like lilac color. This is gonna take me a long time. So I'm going to play some music for you and some YouTube for me and just go ahead and get started. And then once this side is done, I'll come back and we'll talk about what I'm gonna do on the other side.
Okay, so battery number one died. We will see how far I get with battery number two. This side is all in, I think. I can't see the back of my head. I have a mirror behind me, but because of the angle, I think I'm just not able to make it work. Um, and without having contact lenses and I can't see anyway. So let's talk about what we're gonna do with the other side. I am going to do half. So I'm gonna do same technique, but I'm gonna do virgin pink and electric paradise. So virgin pink, again, a color that I have not actually used. This is a very bright, bright, bright pink. This is not, not a pastel, can be made a pastel, but it is definitely a nice neon. So get some of that in there, at least on like super pre-lightened hair like mine, it's gonna be really neon. And then if you've never seen Electric Paradise, it's a really interesting, it's kind of like a neon peach. I have several more bottles. I just wanna see if I can get the end of this out. This is, Electric Paradise is one of my favorites, which is why I have so many bottles of it. It's just such a cool color. And this is also the color that if you see people have like a neon peach, because this is gonna be a little more pink, but if it's like peachy peach, then they've generally added a little bit of porange to it. These are my two shades for this side. And I'm just going to go ahead and get started.
So here is fresh out of the shower. Yes, I'm in a towel. I am going to be going to bed. So um, I have to go to the basement to get clothes. Anyway, I don't care. This is just what it looks like fresh out of the shower. Um, if you have been around for a while, then you know that I do not use heat products on my hair if I can help it. So I will allow it to air dry. And then tomorrow I will go ahead and film the final product. But so far I'm very happy. I'm super excited to see what it looks like dry. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, so, so happy with how this turned out. This is what my hair is like when it dries. It's just naturally really wavy. Um, so exciting. This is the first time that I've done split dye. So I wasn't sure how I was gonna like it. Like if it was just gonna be weird, but I love it. I'm gonna wrap this one up here probably because I wanna get this video up tomorrow if I have time when I'm done editing to come back and do a little extra part with my hair curled and makeup and whatnot then I will do that otherwise you should subscribe so that you see how I style this and what kind of makeup I do with it um this is something that I think most people would look at and be like how would you do makeup with that I can see lots of potential with this hair. This is the first subscriber shout out and it is going to go to Kashvi Cassandra. If I said your name wrong, I'm so sorry. But the comment which I'll put here says nice video. What's your current favorite eyeshadow palette? So that's always a difficult question because there are so many amazing eyeshadow palettes and it really depends on the look. But if I was only allowed to have one of my eyeshadow palettes right now, if I was told that I'd get rid of everything else, I would keep the Norvina Pro Volume 2 and I love all of these palettes. Well, one through three. I don't have four. I'm probably not going to get four. It's very shimmer heavy, but this one is just the one that is the most versatile and has the widest range of different shades in it and shades that could be mixed to make other shades and then it also has like a brown down here that while this is very dark I could manage to make it work um, so it has some ways to to make things a little bit darker so this eyeshadow palette is the one that I would choose if I could only have one. I wouldn't say that it's my favorite. It's a formula that I really love, but I don't have one specific favorite. But I really appreciate you leaving your question. And if you would like to be featured in one of my videos and have your question answered, I do so that I know if you're just asking a question or if you want it to specifically be featured, um, I'm just going to have you add hashtag SO for shout out and you can put it at the beginning or at the end of your question and that way if it's a question that you just want answered right away and you don't want to have to wait for a video, then I'll know. Or if you maybe don't want to be featured in a video, I know some people might not be comfortable with that. But yeah, so this is a thing we're going to try and do regularly. So you can ask literally anything at all about me, about makeup, about skincare, about anything in the world. If I don't know the answer, I'll try to find the answer because that's how I am. Okay, this battery is seriously about to die. I'm surprised it hasn't already. So I hope that you are having a wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are. Bye.